GPT-4 just came out and everybody's talking about it. It's basically like a Ferrari versus a Prius, a big upgrade. They added what they say is a sense of ethics into the system and it can now handle up to 25,000 words, which is a lot. Now I used the old Chan GPT to make over $10,000 in just two weeks and I documented the whole thing on YouTube. But what I'm gonna talk about today is even better, even faster and even cooler with the new GPT-4 platform. So make sure to drop a like and let's jump in. So with the new GPT-4, it can review contracts much deeper and get less error same with any standardized testing. Duolingo, the multi-billion dollar language platform, released a role play feature where you can basically have a conversation with it in any language. I mean, that's going to be huge for learning a language. And same thing with Stripe. They're finding a way to use GPT-4 to help their business catch fraudsters. If you don't know what Stripe is, it's a big payment processor and they still owe me money from back in the drop shipping days. Come on, guys. So anyways, there's a lot of new things happening. If you want to stay up to date with that, Synthetic Mind is your go-to. Let's jump over into what we got going on here. This is the main site for OpenAI. Their GPT-4, which I believe they're just calling GPT plus. However, if we want to try that, we can jump over here. They have your saved chat logs. You can go back to it on the left. A lot of these were examples for YouTube videos I've made in that challenge, but from an interface perspective, not much has changed. Now, just like the challenge video I did, I used chat GPT to help me with e-commerce and run a store. So I asked it here, give me 10 ideas of groups of people that have problems I could solve with an e-commerce product. So if you wanted to start an e-commerce business and do kind of the same thing I did there, here's a list of people. You got to pick one of these categories, go learn everything about them and find a specific product to sell, which ChatGPT and now GPT-4 can help you do a little bit of that side of things. Now, if you want to learn e-commerce and go that route, I have an absolutely free course. You can check it out linked below. And if you DM me the word product, I'm going to send 100 people my favorite 10 products right now. I don't want to give it to too many people, but go to my Instagram and DM me the word products and I will have my team send you a list of my 10 favorite products right now. But let's say you wanted to use GPT-4 to make money in a lot of different ways, maybe a service-based business. Well, a good chunk of that process could be handled by ChatGPT. So I'm going to show you one of those things right now. Write me a long form sales copy on a keto diet program. This is one of those things that you could kind of copy paste and tweak and use on your funnel or your website to sell any sort of keto product, fitness thing, any e-commerce thing or whatever you want to do. I also use this inside of my AI challenge to write the description for freelancing websites where I would sell services like building a store, writing emails, which by the way, writing emails can be handled by GPT-4. So while it writes this out, just understand that all this AI stuff doesn't automate the entire business, but it gives you a massive advantage we didn't have 12 months ago when it comes to getting into a new industry. You don't need to be an expert anymore because this is the expert and it will do a lot of that heavy lifting for you. Now for my next magic trick, we got to jump over to InVideo, which is one of the best video editing tools, even if you have no experience. Now InVideo is the sponsor of today's video, and this is going to allow you to do something really cool that you can plug in with ChatGPT. Now I'm sure you've seen people talk about faceless YouTube channels and YouTube automation. I mean, there are countless videos and a lot of these people probably don't even do it. They just teach how to do it. However, it's obviously a big market where you can make a lot of money. But what people are starting to realize is that you can use something like ChatGPT and now GPT-4 to write a script for a YouTube video on the 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. Like exactly, it can go script out this entire video for you. So you can now go make it. And I'm going to show you how to do that because these channels make a lot of money. Now, here's an example of one of those channels. This is called Top Tens and it has almost 5 million subscribers. They get, well, not so much recently, but a reasonable amount of views by making these videos about the coolest things, the top 10 best things. And if we were to take this channel called Top Tens and go over to Social Blade, which shows us all the analytics, you can see how many views they're getting half a million a day growing a thousand subscribers, but it also tells you an estimated earnings. They're making four to $60,000 a month off of about 15 million views. This is usually incorrect. For an example, here Here's my channel. I guess it says I'm making $0 because I just deleted a ton, but it normally says I'm making about $1,000 a month. This is drastically wrong. Here's how much money I'm actually making off YouTube in the last one year. So it's incorrect by about 75%. I'm making four times more than it said I was. So you can imagine, depending on their CPM, how much money this channel is actually making. Now, making these videos is actually really easy and it costs these people like $30 or $50 to automate it and have somebody else do it. So it's very, very easy to do. Now, there's two things you can do. Start your own YouTube channel, a faceless channel just like this one, or you can sell these videos as a service or whatever. The best part is you can use InVideo to do all of this with zero experience and basically zero dollars. Now, here's how we're going to do that. The first thing we need is the video idea. So you can browse around channels like this, and there's a lot of stuff that uses the word like top 10. That seems to get a lot of views. You know, like I searched up top 10 scariest prisons, and this is where this channel came up. So let's just say our idea is going to be top 10 most beautiful cities in Europe, just as an example for this video. We're going to make a video together. Now, the next thing we're going to need is the script for the video, and this is where AI comes in. We're going to jump over to GPT-4. We're going to ask it to, and I'm going to copy the paste of the title, write me 
a YouTube video script for a video on the top 10 most beautiful cities in Europe, and it's gonna do its thing. Ooh, they added Salzburg, nice, I was there a few months ago. Definitely one of the best. Anyways, here's your list, and what you're gonna wanna do is have them expand upon the, the gaps, if you will, because there needs to be some more talking back and forth to make it a longer YouTube video, so you can interact with the AI. Make it longer and have jokes, that's what she said. Now, while that's doing its thing, let's jump back over here because we've got to do the next part of this, which is the voiceover. And there's three ways you can do this. You can either hire someone to do it, you can do it yourself, or you can use the auto AI bot inside of NVIDIA. A couple ways to do this. Let's jump over and we're gonna make a landscape, which is the standard YouTube size video over here with NVIDIA. Now, I'll just drag and drop one of these random scenes over here and add it because now we can start editing it, okay? Each of these is an individual scene. Now, the cool thing is NVIDIA has over 8 million assets that you can use for free photos and videos. So I just typed in Salzburg and I got all these great videos of Austria that I can use and drag these over here into the video. Now, you're gonna wanna resize it. Don't worry if it's blurry or has some little logo watermarks on here. That'll all go away once you render it. And now before we can start editing the video and finding the clips that we want, we first have to get the audio file. This is the base of the entire video. I'm just gonna do this myself really quick. All right, so for an example, each of these would be a scene. You got the intro, you got number 10, you got number nine. All of those are individual scenes. So let's make one together. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today's video, we're gonna explore the top 10 most beautiful cities in Europe that will make you wanna pack your bags and book a trip. So get ready to indulge in the wanderlust. I'm gonna change this around a little bit, which is probably what you should do. I'm gonna rephrase it how I would wanna say it. And I think this is gonna be the perfect scene to, to start off the video. So I'm gonna come over here and click voiceover. And there's a couple things you can do. Automated text to speech, which is again, where you have them do it. You could copy and paste the intro scene there. Just know it's a little bit robotic on the voice side of things, so I'm not a huge fan of this one. I'd just rather do it myself. Now, you can either upload a file if you already have one, or you can just record your voiceover in the app right here. So I'll allow it to use my microphone, and let's get started. All right, let's hit record. Three, two, one, here we go. Hey, welcome back to my... <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna cover the top 10 most beautiful cities you can visit in Europe. These are gonna make you wanna pack your bags immediately, so let's get started. That'll do. All right, so we'll go over here, we'll click add. Eventually we're gonna have to trim up uh, a lot of this, gonna process real quick, and then we're gonna have to cut the ends of those. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out so we can see this entire audio file, and we're just gonna have to cut off the ends, like right here is kind of where I stopped talking. You can drag it, or you can kind of put it wherever you want, and then click this little splice, and then you can just delete it from there and move it over. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna cover the top 10 most beautiful cities you can visit in Europe. These are gonna make you wanna pack your bags immediately, so let's get started. So quality was probably not the best. It wasn't recording through my microphone because I'm recording this video so i'd probably redo that however sounds great all right let's come back over here let's cut this one boom we're going to delete this out there is our intro scene we now have that which is eight seconds long nice and easy with youtube you want to have a quick intro get it moving like i did with this video hopefully all right now what i want to do is make sure this video is done correctly there's like a little bit too long of a shot of the woods there before you actually get to the lake so i'm just going to readjust this we're going to move it back over here and then drag out the end where you can actually see the lake i think that would look much better see that boom all right, now I don't want the whole eight seconds to be this because people are gonna lose interest really quick. And I wanted to show a little bit more of Europe. So let's go find another video that's in the heart of Europe, something like Venice, Italy, which actually is another one of the things that they add on the list here. Number five, I've never been, have you, is it good? All right, so let's bring this one in here and we will add it. So now that they're both in here, I'm gonna trim this one back a few seconds. Then we'll bring this one in, boom, there we go. Then we'll probably cut this about here and we'll add a third one. So boom, there's this, get rid of that. I'm gonna delete that third one and let's find another. What's another city? Uh, Paris, duh. All right, we'll drag this, drop it in there, boom, boom, here we go. Okay, now we just gotta cut this here at the end of the intro. Boom, and that is good to go. Now we just gotta size it. All right, let's see what hey, we got. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to cover the top 10 most beautiful cities you can visit in Europe. These are going to make you want to pack your bags immediately. So let's get started. Hey, welcome. I think when I say pack your bags immediately, we need something that says pack your bags or shows that. Packing. Let's see what they got. All right, let's add this in, see how it looks. All right, so I think this looks much better. We've got everything in there, packing your bags. I just got to resize this. This clip of someone putting bags in the car was really slow, so I just went up to their speed feature and just moved it from a normal speed to a double speed. And now we have an intro. I didn't write the script. These aren't my videos. I didn't have to do anything except screw around on the computer here for four minutes. 
Now, as you're editing and using in video to put everything together, go back and forth with GPT-4 and you could say things like add more jokes, you know, make it more lighthearted. You can say, speak in this tone of voice or like this character, if there's an idea you have, you can go back and forth a lot with a tool like this. Now, like I mentioned, NVIDIA has over 8 million copyright free assets that you can use both videos, images, music, all those things. So it makes it very easy for you to do. You don't have to pay for each one. They also have a 24 seven live chat support that can help you while you're making the videos and a separate private group with over 30,000 expert marketers that can help you make these videos, help you sell them, help you build a business off of it. So InVideo is the best place to make content quickly. And if you use the link down below, you can save 25% and start making your own videos. If you want to either A, start your own faceless YouTube channel or sell this as a service, which can be really profitable very quickly. I'll also leave a link to their YouTube channel down below in case you want to see some more tutorials on how to do this in depth. Now stop, stop the train, okay? We gotta talk about a second way to make money using different AI tools and things that can build off of GPT-4. I'm gonna do it from back here. All right, I'm gonna mess with your head here. Have you ever heard of Descript? Descript allows you to do a lot of stuff with videos, audios, podcasts, but they have a feature that allows you to transcribe your videos or your whatever. So you can turn the video that you just made within video or anything else into a newsletter or a blog post. This is something you could either offer as a service to other people who have blogs, podcasts, whatever, do the reverse either way of this, or do it for yourself. If you have your own faceless YouTube channel talking about travel tips like the 10 best cities in Europe, you can turn that into a newsletter and a blog post. I have a newsletter that I just started for a separate business that is exploding. One of the top in that industry, it's doing really well and very soon it's gonna start making a lot of money. So need I say more? Uh, yeah, probably. So you get it. There's tons of ways to make money and build a business using AI tools, especially GPT-4. But on stuff like this, you definitely want to be early. So I wish you the best of luck. And if you want to build an online business, I'm sure you will find this video super valuable where I show you exactly how I built mine, how much money I've made, how much money I've lost and how I did the whole thing. I'll see you in the next video.